How much did I spend for 5 days and 5 nights in Hong Kong and Macau? Hello everyone, so this is a question that a lot of people are curious to know. So in this video, I'll be sharing my total expenses during our Hong Kong and Macau trip and also our itinerary. So tara, ubanta. Before we continue guys, let me just interrupt for a bit. So the price I will be quoting in this video is already in Philippine Peso. Currently, one Hong Kong dollar is equivalent to 7.20 pesos. But for the sake of this video, gawin natin yung 7 pesos. Also, we plan our itinerary with Kluk because the rates are so much cheaper, good guys, compared to booking directly on every tourist destination. Believe me guys, I checked their website also when we were there. You check your NACO, we really check um, how much is the regular price and guaranteed guys, Kluk offer cheaper rates. Also, applying a promo code like my promo code MJ Salaga gave us additional discount on top of Kluk's discounted rates. For the sake of details guys, you may pause the video from time to time. But for sure, I will be flashing the regular rates, the Kluk rates, and also the rates when applying a promo code. Now let's go back to the video. So first things first, we booked this trip for August, so it's summertime. So please know that rates may vary per season. But feel free to use this video as your reference or guide for your next Hong Kong trip. Let's go! I booked an early morning flight with Cebu Pacific and the round trip ticket cost 6,999 pesos. We also paid the travel tax at the airport for 1,620 pesos. Upon arriving in Hong Kong, we picked up our octopus card and SIM card. We booked this one in advance through Kluk as well as the other activities we booked for Hong Kong. Feel free to use my Kluk promo code MJ Salaga for additional discount. We only paid 1,467 pesos for the octopus card and SIM so card. So at the airport, we exchanged 1,000 pesos to Hong Kong dollars so that we can have a pocket money especially that we need to pay the 50 Hong Kong dollars deposit fee for the octopus card but that is refundable. Now from the airport, we went straight to the City Gates outlet. So at City Gates outlet, we paid for a large locker but we used the octopus card to pay for that. We had McDo for our lunch and we paid 600 pesos for that. So our first itinerary here in Hong Kong is the 360 crystal cable car ride going to Ngung Ping Village. We paid for 2,107 pesos and that's already a round trip ride with their cable car. And now going to our Airbnb, we only had a train ride. We used our octopus card plus a 50 Hong Kong dollar fare for a taxi. Our Airbnb is located in Jordan area just near the Temple Street and this cost us 14,702 pesos per room. Then I rest me for a while then we went straight to Chungking Mansion and I exchanged 12,000 pesos to Hong Kong dollars. So after that, dinner na said so we only had noodles for dinner. So a bowl of noodle plus a milk tea cost me 400 pesos. Now our second day is our first day in Disneyland so we took a bus we only used octopus card and had our breakfast at Starbucks. This is about 400 pesos guys. And after that, we're off to Disneyland. So I paid 5,406 pesos for a two-day pass here in Disneyland. This includes all the shows, the activities, the rides, and even the momentous show at night. Our ticket does not include the meal but this includes an e-voucher discount for merchandise, food, and a buy one take one popcorn. So I paid 1,400 for my meal. Now after our first day in Disneyland, we had our dinner at the Temple Street. This meal is good for sharing so this is a total of 2,800 pesos so since we're sharing so I only spend 1,400 for this. Now before going back to our Airbnb, we always buy water and other essentials and even fruits so we usually spend around 200-300 pesos. Now for our third day is our second day in Disneyland but before going there, we spent half of our day at Victoria Peak Sky Terrace 428. For our breakfast, we had Jollibee and I spent 250 to 300 pesos for this. After lunch, we went straight to the Sky Terrace 428. This cost us 840 pesos per person and that includes a round trip tram ride and tickets to the Sky Terrace. Now from the train station, we snacks for about 300 pesos and we spent the rest of the day at 
Disneyland. No additional payment for this, guys, because again, we had a two day pass. After saying goodbye to Disneyland, we went back to the Temple Street because that's the only night market close to our Airbnb. And also, we added a 100 Hong Kong dollar value to our octopus card. And for this night market food trip, we spent about 900 pesos. On our fourth day, we went to Macau. We booked our turbojet ferry tickets through Kluk and we only paid 1,178 pesos. This is an hour ride from Hong Kong Island to Xingwan or Taipa, Macau. So once we arrived in Macau, we paid change ng ko 1,000 pesos to Macau dollars. By the way, here in Macau, they accept Hong Kong dollars. So the Macau dollars is just in case it's needed. So the bus from the port going to the Parisian or the Venetian is for free. When we arrived at the Venetian Macau, we went straight to the Grand Canal shops. This is like an imitation of Venice Grand Canal. So this is inside the casino hotel, so no entrance fee. We had our lunch at the Venetian food court and I had a bowl of noodles for about 500 pesos. After our lunch, we went to Team Lab Super Nature and we paid 1,494 pesos for this. This was also a fun activity. Right next, we went outside to see the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben here. The Eiffel Tower is located in the Parisian area and then the Big Ben is in Londoner. So they are interconnected and of course there's no entrance fee. After that we went back inside and just walk around. And then we took a bus ride going to the ruins of St. Paul. I forgot how much this was but since they're not accepting octopus card here we paid cash which they accept. Just be mindful to have the exact amount because they don't give change. You just drop your fares a box. So we're now here at the Senado Square so from here it will be a fun hike or walk going to the ruins of St. Paul. I really enjoyed it here. There's a lot to buy as well like mga pasalubong. And also guys, almost everything has free taste. So here we bought egg tart, pork jerky, and many others. All in all, I spent about 2,000 pesos here. So this is the ruins of St. Paul. There's also no entrance fee here. And that's it for our Macau trip. So going back to Hong Kong Island is another turbojet ride so this one cost us 1,346 pesos. And finally for our last day here in Hong Kong, we walked around TST or Chim Sha Chui area. First we're here at the Victoria Harbour, specifically the Avenue of Stars, there's no entrance fee here. We took our time enjoying the place and we're also here at the K11 Museum. We also tried this famous pan fried buns here in TST area. So I got the signature buns and they only accept octopus card. But this one's for 280 pesos. This was really good guys and I also paired this with a milk tea for about 200 pesos. We also bought some few more pasalubongs for 2000 pesos. We also visited this park within the city and there's no entrance fee. So for lunch we tried this smoked duck and the lunch cost us 1000 pesos. So since this meal is good for two, I only paid 500 pesos. We enjoyed this one and since this is our last day, we really just took our time to have fun and enjoy. After checking out Samong Airbnb, we went straight to our last itinerary here in Hong Kong. The Sky 100, located at the 100th floor of Hong Kong's tallest building, which is the ICC Tower. Our ticket here is a sunset promo with Kluk, so we only paid 831 pesos per person. And since our flight leaves at 10 p.m., we went straight to airport after this. We took the airport express, which is for free because of the Hong Kong goodies. We had our dinner at the airport and this cost me 1,000 pesos. And that ends our 5 days and 5 nights Hong Kong Macau trip. Overall, the total budget for one person is around 50,000 pesos with a Kluk savings of 4,200 pesos. The good news guys is that you can definitely adjust your budget depending on your itinerary. So for example, our Kluk bookings reach about 14,000 pesos but that includes a lot of tourist destinations already. So if you want to trim down your budget, you may want to plan which tourist destinations you would like to visit. And for hotel accommodation, you can actually share rooms so that you can just split the budget or look for a cheaper option. Your pocket money can also be adjusted depending on 
on where you want to eat or your budget for shopping and pasalubong. So I would say you can definitely adjust your budget from 30,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos or even more. So that depends on you. I hope this video helps you plan your Hong Kong Macau itinerary trip soon and also I hope this answers a lot of questions pertaining to budget and itinerary. If you still have a lot of questions in mind guys, feel free to join our Facebook group Hong Kong Macau Travel Updates and Promos. We created this group to build a community that shares travel tips and guide for your DIY Hong Kong and Macau trip. This is the cover photo and also I'll be sharing the Facebook group link in the description box. And that's it for today guys. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!